Day 21 in Japan today, I want to share my experience of staying at a capsule hotel, visiting Tokyo Ramen Street, shopping in Tokyo, and Asia's top 50 bar. I had a surprisingly good night's sleep, and Jeff not so much as his floor was a little noisier than mine. Let's have some breakfast at 7 Eleven. This is very convenient, affordable, and surprisingly delicious meals. It also saves you plenty of time in the morning. Our plan was to explore this park and take a boat ride and visit the Imperial Palace. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't great, so the boat ride wasn't quite possible. Also, keep in mind that visiting Tokyo Imperial Palace and following the free tour requires booking in advance. We headed to Marunouchi area. The vibe here is very different from Shinjuku and Shibuya. Check out this incredible art installation we stumbled upon. How cool is that? We eventually made our way to Tokyo Ramen Street. I highly recommend coming here on an empty stomach on a weekday and after the afternoon rush. There were so many options to choose from. We settled for the miso-based ramen. It was absolutely delicious. Back in Ginza to shop more, Gu is a shop I highly recommend you checking out. They have a wide range every day and time pieces at affordable prices. If you're in Ginza, head over to Mitsukoshi Ginza department store. The basement floor has petite bakery items. These are a must try. So stopped by Uniqlo where I had the chance to custom design my own shirt with Pikachu. It just seemed fitting. To end the night on a high note, we visited Bar Orchard which is ranked as one of the top 50 bars in Asia. The bartender whipped up some unique drinks providing a fun way to relax and unwind after a long day. That wraps up day 21 in Japan. Follow me for Japan travel vlogs and Japan travel tips.